on the piece of paper you've just finished filling out. Lots and lots of different kind of units, right? And one of the most important things is, well, maybe you're in one unit and you want to change into a different one. You want to be able to compare things together. Or know exactly, like how big is that really? Or how small? So conversion is a really important skill and it's the main one in 801, which you may like to write down now before you forget, okay? So how does conversion work? For example, if I told you, for instance, there's a distance, it's 2,000 meters, and I want you to convert from meters into kilometers. How many kilometers is that 2,000 meters? What are you going to do with the number 2,000 to turn it from meters into kilometers? What do you reckon, Christian? Okay, so if you had a number of meters, if you wanted to turn it into a number of kilometers, you should divide by a thousand. And if I went in reverse, what would I do if I was going from kilometers to meters? Okay, I'm going to reverse, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Times by a thousand, okay? Now, do you remember I was pointing out to you how crazy confusing the imperial system is, okay? Now, the crazy confusing thing about the imperial system is exactly what's beautiful and harmonious about the metric system, okay? See these numbers? Let's keep on going. If I told you I was 1.78 meters tall, which roughly I am, okay? How would you convert meters into centimeters? What would you do with that 1.78 number? Okay, I multiply by 1,000 going here, but I'm gonna multiply by 100. Here, does that make sense? And then if I said to you, okay, I've measured a length with my ruler. It's 3.5 centimeters, okay? How would you convert that centimeters into millimeters? Darcy. Wow, lots of people renamed themselves Darcy over the weekend. You, thank you, you would multiply by 10, okay? Now, let me pause there before we finish off this diagram. I want you to have a look down here. If you're converting to a smaller unit from kilometers to meters or meters to centimeters, etc., okay, what are we doing every time? We're times it, we're multiplying, right? So if you're converting to a smaller unit, what you need to remember is because they're smaller, you need lots of them. So your number is going to get bigger. Like 1.78 turning into 178. Okay? So you need lots of them, so multiply. Now I want you to keep that in mind and then in two minutes tell me how to finish off that next line. How do I do the rest of the conversions? I'm missing a couple of arrows if I go from millimeters to centimeters and centimeters to meters. I should. What am I going to do from millimeters to centimeters? Divide. divide by 10. Or from centimeters to meters, divide by 100. Look at those numbers. Aren't they beautifully systematic and easy to remember? So, okay. Question? Who, who created the metric system? That's a really good question. And I should probably know the answer, but I don't. Please find out for me and then bring it back next lesson and we'll all know. Um, now, Will, you reckon you've got an answer for this next one? Um, yes. Yep. Because Give us a shot. Uh-huh. So if you're converting to a large unit, yep, yep. you need less than you need less. Okay, yes, very good. Oh Meters are really, really big, so you're not going to use many of them, right? So I think Will's words are fine. You need less of them. So since they're getting smaller, you don't multiply, you... Okay, good. So you can see... The easiest thing to get wrong about this diagram is, wait, do you multiply or do you divide? Which one am I doing? Remember this. This is what I like to remember, okay? You look at a meter and you say, wow, that's got a lot of centimeters in it. And it's got even more millimeters in it. So if I'm converting from a big unit to a really teeny one, I need lots of them, that's why I multiply. Darcy. Um, Gabriel. Say it again, Gabriel. What country is he from? Right? Ah, of course, because the first people who implemented the imperial system were the French after the French Revolution. Yeah, it's old. And Australia only did it like centuries later. So it's a very old system. 